Welcome to Wall Street News Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Friday's Insider Report, President invests more than 2 million US dollars in this new company. This vibrant stuffed peppers recipe is easy to make and bursting with flavor. Book Club gives us much needed, freedom, inmates at Bath Institution talk books with Heather O'Neill. Can you enjoy an exchange-traded retirement? For this money manager, now is the right time to invest in small-cap stocks. Friday's Insider Report, President invests more than 2 million US dollars in this new company. The Globe and Mail. This vibrant stuffed peppers recipe is easy to make and bursting with flavor. Telegraph. The author describes their fascination with French markets and the small moments that occur between people. They recall a recent trip where they witnessed a market seller become angry at a couple standing near his van, only to then turn to the author with a smile and ask what he could make for them. The author also mentions the delicious meals they made using produce from the market, including a veal chop with gerols and stuffed peppers. The recipe for the stuffed peppers is then provided. Book Club gives us much needed, freedom, inmates at Bath Institution talk books with Heather O'Neill. The Toronto Star. Book Clubs for Inmates, BCFI, is a charity that organizes and supports book clubs in prisons across Canada. The Bath Institute Book Club is one of over 40 set up by BCFI, and it is made up of male inmates serving time in a medium security prison. The club recently had celebrated novelist Heather O'Neill visit to discuss her debut novel, Lullabies for Little Criminals, which the club had chosen as their September title. The book club provides the inmates with emotional and intellectual freedom and allows them to explore their reactions to books as readers rather than incarcerated individuals. Can you enjoy an exchange-traded retirement? The Globe and Mail. Exchange-traded funds, ETFs, are increasingly being used by retirees due to their low fees and wide variety of options. However, choosing the right ETFs for this life stage can be challenging. All-in-one balanced ETFs such as Vanguard's Balanced ETF Portfolio, VBLT, and BMO's Balanced ETF, ZBLT, can be used for both growth and income. Retirees can also select from a range of yield-oriented ETFs, including fixed income and equity funds that provide growth and income. It is important for retirees to balance growth, capital preservation and steady income to meet cash needs. For this money manager, now is the right time to invest in small-cap stocks. The Globe and Mail. Stephen Palmer, President and CIO at Alpha North Asset Management, believes that the recent drop in small cap stocks presents a buying opportunity for long term investors. Despite the tough year for small cap investors, Palmer believes that small caps have the potential for higher rewards and that taking a longer term approach can lead to strong returns. He also discusses what he has been buying and selling, including biotech company Delka Systems, cleantech company Char Technologies, and Gold Explorer Collective Mining. Nicholas Hamilton, Lewis has never put a penny into my racing. The Independent. Nicholas Hamilton, brother of Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton, has spoken about his determination to make his own way in the world of motorsport. Nicholas, who has cerebral palsy, is the first disabled driver to compete in the British Touring Car Championship, BTCC. He has had to overcome a great deal of criticism and bullying from people who believe he only has opportunities because of his famous brother, but he is determined to prove them wrong. Nicholas has never received any financial support from Lewis, or their father Anthony, and has had to work hard to secure sponsorships to fund his racing career. Nicholas has also found success as a speaker, sharing his story to inspire others. He is keen to continue his work helping disabled people and those struggling with mental health issues. His dealership told him to remove an anti-theft device. Now, his car's been stolen again. CBC. A Canadian couple have had two new Lexus models stolen from the same parking lot in a year, despite having an anti-theft device fitted. Mitchell Levine and his wife Stacy Korn had an aftermarket anti-theft device installed in their car, only to be billed $20,000 for wiring damage when they took it to the dealership for mechanical work. The dealership denies recommending the device. Earlier this month, Korn found their car had disappeared from where she had parked it. Lexus Canada says demand in foreign markets leads to increased targeting of its vehicles by criminals. EU to investigate X's handling of disinformation over Hamas attack. The Independent. The European Union, EU, has launched an investigation into Elon Musk's social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, over allegations of spreading disinformation, terrorist and violent content, and hate speech. 
This investigation is the first to be conducted under the EU's recently implemented tech regulations and will also examine X's procedures for managing complaints. X had previously announced the removal of several accounts associated with Hamas. The EU has requested information from X related to the investigation, and X has until October 18 to respond. The EU has warned TikTok and Meta, formerly Facebook, for their alleged failures in addressing disinformation on their platforms. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.